What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you the first episode of a brand new campaign as the United States of America. This is the one that was second place in the faction vote I held the other week. And we're starting here because the initial menu uh, it still has Patriot music from the Patriot in it, even though I've turned off the audio. So I've got the Darth Mod launcher set to late game, so it's 1821 and the US is available. And basically, we've got a whole lot of things we can get on with here. Um, but one of the interesting things about the US off the bat is that... Oh, sounds being a bit funny. No. Ready and awaiting order. For example, I can't move him out of his province. And it appears to be a problem that goes away uh, at the end of... At the start of the Forward. next turn. March. What I am going to do is order. just... Interesting. That's interesting. I've never seen that before. For crown and Ready and yeah, I did wonder about these. So they've got you start off with this unit called the Minutemen, which is presumably not impacted by any of the mods. So it's 150 men, even though I'm I'm set. My uh, unit sizes are set such that they should still be you know, significantly larger than that. So and they seem to cause problems. So let's just get rid of those units. Uh, across the board. We've got a few of them. It seems kind of not super ideal that we that we that we have to get rid of them, but if it does kind of it seems a bit superfluous. But let's a couple there. Let's start to Yeah, so I can't move any units between regions for the first turn. Which is a bit funky, but there we go. Let's get some <clears throat> some sloops just to protect our ports. Let's get a militia unit to protect uh, Williamsburg as our military port. In terms of research, because we start off with fire by rank and everyone's got it, so I think the next decisive edge we can get is quickline. Uh, but still, I'm going to go for national debt. Actually, no, we haven't got much upkeep. We keep going with joint stock companies and grow the wealth of our empire. Uh, let's go with... Let's build a port and lose. Get the sloop, because I am going to have to start trading. Oh, I mean, let's play this kind of thematically, because right now I am... You know, Britain still has all their holdings, um, but, you know, it's 1821, the War of 1812 has passed, and we are going to say, let's trade Britain. Let's not trade with Quebec, because they're going to be one of our targets. And let's not trade with the Iroquois, because they are definitely going to be one of our targets. So we're probably going to spend a couple of turns just getting our empire set up a little bit better and boost our income. So let's get some basic roads across the board. Yep, Falmouth doesn't have them either. We've got a lot of things we can upgrade. Let's go for craft workshops here. Although well, that's quite an expensive upgrade that sucks up all of our cash. Let's maybe go for a couple of farm upgrades. Because they're a bit cheaper, we can make a bit more progress. Good. Haven't built anything at Hartford, but that's okay. Uh, but yeah, can't move anyone yet in this end turn phase. And let's hit end turn. Ooh, that's a bit of a chunky end turn. So because this is late game, we've got uh, Mexico and we've got uh, Greece and all sorts of other factions at play. But I think allying with Britain is a smart decision because at some point we're going to be at war with uh, well, France and Spain trying to secure the continent. So at least being friendly with Britain, we might get some allies. The United Provinces wants trade. No, I'm not going to give you any territory. No, no sir. Not getting any American territory without invading it yourself. It's interesting, actually, in this one, the Barbary States is fairly early. So whatever decisions they they do, and whatever places they raid and stuff, the AI, there are lots of AI factions that can actually respond and stop them from doing that. So the Barbary States are kind of hindered, actually, in this in this setting. Uh, because, yeah, normally... The Barbary States second to last, and the pirates the last. So whatever happens, the pirates and Barbary States can deploy and do stuff. They'll be annihilated the next game, but they they will be able to raid and all that sort of stuff. But apparently, 
in this case, it is not a, it is not a thing. Yeah, let's get our get our armies ready. Start to well, I want to defend in the south against the uh, Spanish, or get ready to defend in the south against the Spanish, uh, but mainly push north to take out Quebec, which will probably draw us to conflict with the French, depending on if their diplomacy is set up correctly. Well, not necessarily correctly, but if it's set up that way. Which itself wouldn't be a problem. But right now we've got a large empire and no means of... Well, we've got a lot of things we can spend our money on. Oh, the Punjab is still existing. So 9,880. One thing I didn't try is my government R. State religion P. Yeah, I see. Uh, let's... Crank down the government levels. Let's get everything booming. Our ministers are all quite good, except for you, Edmund Randolph. So you're just three-star basic. I don't want to get rid of... I don't want you to replace anyone. Oh, look at that. James Madison, Samuel Adams, Norris Blenkinsop, George Washington, and Francis Bellamy, all under Elias. Boudinot. I guess. French guy. Path blocked. We had lots of paths were blocked because people were screwing up. Let's get you down to Savannah to start converting the population because they're probably... What's animism? Tea export zero. Did you ever have any tea? Could I have built... Why have you got tea exports? Huh. Oh well. Yeah, lots of these. Yeah, path blocks. Oh, it's the, it's the same instruction over and over again. I see. So you're set up. Get some militia down here. Okay, so let's start to set up our first army under Nathaniel Green. So Nathaniel Green's going to hold here. You're going to push towards Philadelphia. In position. Light infantry. You don't need any more light infantry. Okay, let's get some line infantry on the go. An interesting thing about how the mod has changed things. So you used to have to build a uh, military governor's encampment to recruit uh, the new uh, the second New York, I believe. But in this case, we don't. So it's unable to be recruited from the military governor's barracks. But if you go on to building browser... Oh no, sorry, wrong one. No, it is building browser. No, sorry, I'm poking up my backside. Research and technology. Go down onto the Army Staff College, right click, and it opens up the tab for that building. You can see that all of the interesting units, the first Delaware, second New York, Morgan's Provisional Rifle Corps. Oh, where's Lee's Legion? Lee's Legion's there. Pretty sure there it is. And the first Maryland. So they're all recruited through the Army Staff College itself. So you don't have to worry about managing all these these buildings like you would have previously had to have done. Your humble servant. Um, yeah, I'm not I'm never going to recruit Minutemen. It's just 150, 150 troops that are... Yeah, they're better than militia infantry. Hey, these guys... Oh no, they do have... So there's a volunteer infantry regiment. They've probably got... Well, they will have... Oh, garrison policing bonus. That's interesting. Uh, but let's not go crazy. Let's get hold of some... Some units of line infantry for both of our main forces. Or just two for this one. You're probably recruiting it from Williamsburg. Um, we want to focus on... Growing our income first and foremost. State capital is a good buy. Although we could probably, oh no 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 no, we could probably do is. So you can export your tobacco through Lewis because you do share a border. So let's do that. 
Let's get what to get. I mean, we we'll just have to start getting cobbled roads because right now, very few of my. Oh, I might do that now with this actually. So let's get Philadelphia built up. Let's get New York built up. Let's get Annapolis built up. Start in one place and work outwards. Then let's get. I mean, you will become a coaching in in due course, but let's get another port up, get another um, farm upgrade. War between Austria and Poland. War between Poland, Poland and Russia. That's a bit dicey. Other than that, we've got some good building work done. Seven thousand eight hundred because I did dial back my um, tax policies and so on. We are one. We ask for everything, and we'll give you Rupert's land. No. All that means, Greece, is that now you're a target. You want me to give you Maine and Maryland for New Andalusia. I mean, if it was just Maine, I'd consider it, but no. Not giving away any territory to them. To anyone. Just a sec, guys. I'm going to let you turn. Oh, no, I'm not going to let the end turn take on. Curacao for Maryland. Why are you ask? Why are you... Oh, these are some lopsided demands. Yeah, just a second, guys. I need to nip away. And I'm back, and it appears Poland wants me to be their ally. Nope. I have no interest in getting in involved in any of your continental wars at all. So let's trade agreement cancelled with Spain. Well, I wonder what that could mean. Let's recruit some more infantry. Lots of frontiersmen. So Sorry. yeah, you wouldn't stand up very well against a lot of line infantry. We can already recruit Curacier, which is really good. Let's get a unit of provincial cavalry, because that will only be from Charleston itself. I'm not going to spend money on Savannah yet. Let's see if I can trade with anyone else of interest. Austria. Where's the Dutch? We're already trading with the Dutch. Hmm, so if we're angling to be enemies with enemies of Spain, who does Spain not like? Cherokee, the Barbary States, the Pueblo, all the natives. All right, not so, not so useful there. Let's trade with Mexico. And then, oh, it's because we've got our um, port up in the capital. Yes. Oh, American trade will rule the earth. Excellent, 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 excellent. So we've got a bit of... So we're recruiting some extra troops. Okay, we also do need fast cash. But I do want to get my... Keep up with my road building. Something like that. Oh, there we go. We get all the roads being constructed then, which is ideal. Two more turns to joint stock companies. So that's not a problem. It's interesting, actually. The audio seems quite unstable here. Yeah, we're all recruiting troops and carrying on. I mean, if Spain goes after us, we may then focus on Cuba and Santo Domingo and Trinidad and Panama as well. Interesting. We're up to 9,400, which is good. We're trading with a lot of countries around the world. Military Alliance. Uh, counter offer. Just the Alliance. If you want to expand, you have to send... You will have to uh, do it elsewhere. Or attack the Spanish. New Mexico. Well, not New Mexico, Mexico. You'll have to attack Spain.
yeah, the American population is about to be, is going to come under attack from many people. I suspect the Cherokee and the Ottoman, Cherokee, not, Cherokee, not the Ottomans, the Cherokee and the Iroquois have a reciprocal agreement or an alliance, if you will, <laughs> that will make it untenable to attack one or the other, I think. We have advanced uh, musket drills. We've got access to Kyosier, good cavalry. Artillery will be on the way shortly. Alliance broken between Britain and Grand Columbia. Alliance broken between Britain and Quebec. Interesting, are they? Is Quebec and Poland's gone? War declared between the United Provinces and France and the Mughal Empire in Great Britain. Doesn't matter to us. See, Spain's got to feel a little bit uncomfortable now because this is looking like a bit of build up. Whoa. Hmm. Okay. So only the farm was built. Okay, you're going to become a coaching inn. Upgrade the trade port. Lose. Upgrade the trade port of Boston. Roads are all being built. Uh, maybe not. Maybe get everything up to tier 2 industry. Not necessarily get one tier 3 industry building yet. Other than that, keep on with the farming investment. Well, the, you know, you've not got any units being recruited, so let's cancel that last one and get a unit of... You've already got a good amount of light, light infantry as it is. Yeah, get the farms going. I'm hoping when the roads are upgraded, they'll be able to get down to... <laughs> no, they're demanding $20. We want all these territories. We'll give you one territory, but you need to give us all this and 20 bucks. Yeah, you know what? We're starting to turn against attacking Quebec and go after the French, uh, the Spanish. So this payment's actually quite handy. So you know what? We'll take your trade deal. We'll take your trade. And then we will put the money to work, getting ready to square off against the Spanish. Because once we take uh, Florida, then yeah, then we're going to push on. Ooh, the Ottomans are building up. Wait, has Venice traded Patras to Austria? It might have done. Petras looks definitely pale. Oh no, that's the Huron. Are they giving it to the Huron? Oh, they, they, they must have done. They swapped. They traded territory. That's what it'll have been. They traded territory with the Huron. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid idea, Greece. There you go. Three new sets of cobbled roads. Do I just double on down? I don't think I double on down to metal roads yet. Get some increases in the government and our military production. Let's... Oh man, we can upgrade these ports a long way. Yep, yeah, we've got a lot of things to spend money on. Men! You're going to recruit. But to be fair, I'm probably better off just recruiting them in the north. And then sailing them down. So let's get... When do I lose Continental Marines? Okay, I keep them for when I upgrade it. So let's get... Two Continental Marines. Two 12-pounders. Well, two 12-pounder foot artillery units and a 12-pounder howitzer. Got a strong, reasonable core of infantry there. Got some pants cavalry, which I wish I didn't have now. Okay, have I got... 
be actually you, Anthony Wayne. You're going to lose your artillery and your skirmishes. You've got a garrison in Philadelphia. The line's broken between Greece and Mexico. Because the <laughs> Ottomans have declared war on the Greeks. Uh, nope, no alliance for you, Mexico. You broke your alliance with, with, with Quebec soon enough. Ooh, they're being attacked by somebody. Are they at war with the French? Somebody's in trouble in Florida. Hmm. French ships returning home. Do they sense trouble? gathering their forces to go and smack Greece, that's for sure. Yeah, there he goes, he's on his way. <laughs> oh, the port's been raided. Trade route's been raided. Ah. Scallywags. And Portugal's gonna raid Oh they're just yeah, they're raiding the raiding the trade with the Barbary States, so it's Trade line between them and the Ottomans is under attack. The 11,000. Okay, you're going to finish. You're going to wait until you're finished recruiting. Oh, I'm a goon. Part of the reason why that militia unit was there was to occupy Yorktown. Right. Get some more furs to market. Don't need to upgrade New York yet. It's an abundant yield tobacco plantation, so let's get that. And let's start to get metal roads, I think. When I get the next. Hmm. What to get, what to get, what to get. What's my most valuable region? It is Pennsylvania. Okay, let's get some metal roads in Pennsylvania just to boost. Boost more growth. You never have enough growth. You may just garrison the city itself. Uh, upgrade the clearances because they're cheap. Then, so, are you at war with... Okay, you're 100% Protestant, so let's send my agent to go have a look. Can I be of I'm sure someone. I you, I mean, you, these, are, these guys have been depleted and gained experience from somewhere. Let's so maybe move these guys uh, south. Forward! For crown yes. and country! Onward! Hit and turn. Oh, I didn't pick a new technology, so they're running wild on whatever they fancy. That's what happens when you just burn through end turns like that. It's super easy just to forget. You know what? An ally to the north. Yes. For now. So then effectively that army in the north can be a bit of a garrison and defensive force, but then eventually I will need to raise a second defensive army to head west into the interior. Although I could just do that now, actually. With that army. Start expanding. Start growing. Start developing our economy. Although our economy is pretty darn strong as it is. French have taken Brussels, so maybe the French are at war with the Spanish, and they've got there. There are French troops in Louisiana that are heading east, maybe. Hmm. Knights of Saint John. I think they're going to get up some mischief. 
I mean, at some point, Spain is going to jump on Gibraltar. I think that might be part of the reason why they're hostile to us, because we've allied with Britain, which means they know that if they attack in... If they go in and try and attack Gibraltar, we may join the war in the Americas and cause them problems. And it also means if we attack Spain, Britain may refuse... No, we're not, no, sorry, we're not allies with Britain, we're just trading with them. My mistake. There's a full stack on the way to Greece. This looks familiar. When you've had no time to develop your economy, no time to do much of anything, and they're already on their way. Because <laughs> Athens is a territory they absolutely want to take. It's one of the territories they have in their base game, so it makes sense that they've got some sort of inbuilt logic that says we really want that back. Thousand alliance broken between Britain and the Dutch, so I think the Dutch have attacked, or the French have attacked the Dutch. One more howitzer, and you're done. Public servant died. What? Cornelius, Cornelius Thurston's dead. Benjamin Franklin's dead. Two of my government ministers, including Samuel Adams, are dead. What the hell happened? Was there a plague? Yeah, they're all still good. James Madison, Christopher Brenton, Horace Blink. I mean, I suppose they could be old. Yeah, 71. 90. <laughs> Is that accurate? Probably. 82. Votes on merit. Right, that was a bloodbath. Ready and awaiting orders. So you're waiting one more unit of howitzers all that you've got. That's a lot of... I really don't like horse artillery. It just It's mobile, sure, but artillery's, artillery in this game is good enough that you can just plonk it at the back and keep going. Keep hitting and keep doing a lot of damage from long range. It's, it's a tr yeah, I'm not bought into it, really. Upgrade some, no, not that many industry buildings. Let's also start to pick up two units of grenadiers because you're going to want to start growing. I suppose you've got one turn. We can recruit an extra unit of line, ship them down south, and start to hit them. So, bit of a slow start in this game, but we've got so much potential here. We want to, if we can set it up right from the get go, we'll be laughing. Let's trade with the Austrians. And, I mean, the Maratha said no last time. There we go. We're trading with so many countries because you've got so many ports, or sit territories with ports next to our capital, I believe is the reason. But let's hit enter. Yeah, we're already off earning 10 grand a pop. They're going to march off against... Oh, they're, no, they're at war with the Cherokee. That's what it is. Let's hope they lose. It would be interesting to see what happens as a result of their... Attack on the Cherokee. But I think I just need to keep... I, need, I just need to expand my army massively to take advantage of the opportunities nearby. Spain won't be able to stop us. The natives won't be able to stop us. Quebec's our ally now, so I haven't got to focus on protecting the north exactly yet. It will cause us to have problems with our... Uh, potential future allies, but we're about to just spread across the American continent, and once we've got that, there's, we don't care what anyone thinks about us. We're on a rampage. About to stomp home and let everyone know that we are the baddest mothers in the valley. And so on.
No, no alliance. Bad. <laughs> no alliance for you, Mughals. Don't get me involved in your Europe, in your Indian wars yet. And there goes Greece, <laughs> like that. Already gone. Oof. Get cracking. So I don't think there's much need to do much military research for the time being. Ah, oh, military's in a fine state. Okay, I'm gonna run you down. Oh, you can't. Can you guys get to? You can get to New York. So wait, not everyone. Wait, did I accidentally recruit horse artillery? No, they would... Oh, maybe I did. Ugh. Okay, let's put you... Put you guys in, put in there, ready to move. We have to. We want to wait and see what happens to them anyway when they push north, because they might get rebuffed. But either way, we need. Could probably do with Nathaniel Green making his way down here. So we've got two armies that can kind of spar with the Spanish wherever they elect to go. And take this general here, Anthony Wayne. He can hold in Boston. Start to raise more forces. While we also balance our checkbook and keep our investments going. Get a water powered cloth mill. We can also get a state house though, that will also work. And upgrade the steam pump mine. Still got a thousand to go. Don't want to upgrade any church schools yet. Farms are a good bet. Okay, one more turn. We can move extra. Move that uh, twelve those twelve pounders south as well. Then we can start making moves against the Spanish. Sending out reinforcements. See, see, look, that church school's been raided to the west. There's a British invasion force landing. So if they're going to go after Florida, we need to move quick. I mean, they could come after us. But we're trading, so that would be most unsporting. We've got plenty of trade trade agreements for the time being. Once you start declaring war on people, then, then that'll start to thin it down. But at the very least, we're not trading with Spain. So direct war... Hey, Britain's got Sardinia. Uh, direct war with Spain won't cause us much trouble, because we're not trading with them. It depends on what France does, but France has spent a lot of their game with their ports being blockaded anyway so they haven't we've not been earning from them as much as we could have done and I don't think beyond that they've got many allies lots of Ottoman units moving around that's classic Ottomans they're gonna be moving on the Huron I, I if I had to guess Portugal's on the move. It's looking like now Spain's moved that stack, moved that small stack away from Gibraltar. They might be attempt, they might be thinking about move, sending them towards the uh, the Americas. I hope Sweden is only invading Iceland and not coming after us. Uh, 
gentlemen, excellent. Okay, 10,000. So you're going to be positioned here Anything more? to prevent a bit of a breakout. Excellent. This force hey. getting to New York. Forward. The entire force be, oh. be embarked. Deposit north of Savannah. Ships orders. Where to? Get the fleet back to New York. Yes. You guys combine. Aha! Okay, so take everybody except the horse artillery. Oh, almost perfect. We'll take one unit of horse artillery. In position. The horse, another unit of horse artillery Forward. will bolster Nathaniel Green. Yes, then you're Not ready possible, to head down towards Spain. You guys look going to be looking mighty uncomfortable right about now. Okay, ten grand. Some some of it on the cloth mill, and let's get a few couple of road upgrades heading south. Because I've got a feeling when we're fighting in this area, we're going to be calling on reinforcements moving their way down from Philadelphia. Let's upgrade the farm because we've got to have got some money to spend. Cool, 510. Let's get a unit of Bowman Auxiliary to support Nathaniel Green in the event that he does have to face off against Ready some of these fellows. Good recruitment. My soul's been destroyed. Corlin's been destroyed. That's fine. Three turns until national death. Now, we can't recruit modern university, not until Dover develops Philadelphia in 45 turns. Must we upgrade the upgrade the farm? They sense troubles, troubles afoot. If only they put the entire army into the city, that would have been ideal. Let's see if Cherokee continue raiding. Because Florida is a good capture. Good amount of towns, a good uh, new port, and we've got uh, extra goods for trade. So Florida's a good target to capture. Amsterdam's not going to be an easy capture. British ports being raided by France again. I mean, they're sending lots of troops south. I'm guessing they're at war with Spain as well. So that's why they're thinking, well, you know. Bad guys are south. If we head that way, we'll get into some we'll get into a scrap. No, no alliance. And you're seriously asking for I want all this plus forty bucks. No sir. Where are you going? Well, you're going to raid as well. Take the last territory and secure Patras. Go on. It's a good Portuguese stack on the loose. Oh, the armies fall back, but they've landed off the coast of Norway. Seven thousand. So stuff's yeah, trade's starting to get interdicted now. Let's upgrade the cloth mill for now. So you're the main threat. I could I think Nathaniel Green could bottle these guys up and prevent well yeah, they could definitely bottle them up and prevent them from pushing. So let's declare war on Spain. Let's not call our allies. 
or do no if I call my allies in Spain France won't join so let's keep Genoa let's keep France as our ally for now Genoa join them so they you the, you are gonna bottle up the garrison you're gonna march right up to the Spanish army and smack them Leon Leoncio Sobovaro John Sullivan's coming for your ass. Yeah, Nathaniel Green can pen them in and prevent the garrison from leaving. And then we might move on the... Well, might... No, Nathaniel Green's going to... Uh, might swap generals around. So Nathaniel Green's leading my main army because he's my better general. Although he will get his own force in due course. But we'll mostly be looking to try and secure more territory in the Caribbean. Artillery reporting. Limber up, unlimber the guns. So first of all, American line infantry. They're just great. They've all got five o'clock shadows. They've, they've all got stubble. <laughs> Oh, they look good. The blue's a little bit lighter than the Prussians. Well, that's not bad. Native troops are going to push around one of the flanks. It's got a long rifleman, which just look grey anyway. Actually, let's get them. Honestly, oh, it looks like they're going to be hidden. Yeah. They look good. They've got their uh, Davy Crockett hats on. And they're ready to start sniping people at range. Colonial Light Infantry. Standard light infantry. <laughs> Look at this poor guy. He does not want to be here at all. Uh, the cavalry is fairly normal, pretty sure. Yeah. Blue. Little white facings. Yeah. They look okay. And then provincial cav. Similar, but just look a little bit less professional, which is true. My main striking force, the Continental Marines, green coats, red cuffs and facings. They just look. There we go. Yep, they just look good. And they're good in melee, so they're going to be my heavy hitters on the right flank. And they're going to have my irregulars, my long riflemen, and my light infantry are going to be both together on the left. Militia, they're going to be both together on the right. Militia on the left. Split the cavalry up. Nathaniel Green's going to hold the center. Howitzers and Limber start dropping off shots. Okay, let's start advancing. They're just coming at us. Oh, the light infantry. No, they're not going to place states quick enough. Regulars fall back. Cavalry get ready to form up. You're going to hit my flank, form square. Native troops attack. The militia advance and form rank. Ignore them with my cavalry. Getting good hits of them with my light yes, troops. Sir. Okay, you guys are going to have to run. My skirmishers get them on the flank at speed as well. Their dragoons are broken. I'll chase them until they shatter. There goes their colonial cav. Line infantry on member. Push up. So the American line, barring by rank. 
red, white, and blue. Bring home some freedom. Eleven regiment have broken. Colonial Light Cavalry, let's get them into the mix. Foot artillery, go after the general. Bowman auxiliary with muskets in them. Okay. Advance. Advance. Reposition. So we're there, we're waiting for them to start breaking. Excellent. Get busy. Go after the native bone auxiliary. Oh, skirmishes fire at will. You're going to tear these guys a new one with accurate musket and rifle fire. My general involved in this because that is an enormous route from the enemy infantry force. Yeah, let's keep my cavalry chasing down the routing troops rather than trying to square off with far, far too many bowmen. Tag the general. Infantry. Push up. I was going to say, we need some people to act as a bit of a barrier. Excellent. Just go after the regular line. American infantry. Bayonets. Charge. They're forming up. Here come the Yanks. Charge! It's them routing as well. Attack the native bowmen in the rear. Infantry. Come on, Marines. They're still getting hit by the artillery. Got a couple of units left behind, but that's okay. Eight of Bowman's going down. They're just quite badly outflanked. Excellent. Pretty sure that's everybody. Oh, there's some, oh, there's some came back. No, nope, they routed. Yeah. Artillery, ceasefire. The light horse didn't get a single look in. bunch of them stop to admire the scenery there. It's two units of line infantry destroyed. Oh, is there... Are they bugging out? Bash. Got him. There's one last fella, and we got him. 
So that's that main army obliterated. The garrison under Nathaniel Green... The garrison being pinned by the army, commanded by Nathaniel Green, can remain where it is, because we've got the numerical advantage and they're depleted anyway, so advance. Try replenish your force. At the ready. These bowmen bolster Nathaniel's land. army. March. That's where they were going anyway. Uh, 1400. Reasonable amount of cash to do something cool. Let's go for the opera house. Get the boost in happiness and money. Yeah, wealth growth per turn. So you're going to hold. Yeah, if we can destroy these guys, that'd be nice. We're allied with France, so we could then squeeze Cherokee if we want. But I think I would like, I'd rather hop on and attack Cuba, because Spain has some quite juicy holdings here. I'd like to secure those if I could. 7,200, because our trade's being um, interdicted. But if we take Florida, we get our meagre yield of sugar, meagre yield of cotton. Well, better than a poke in the eye. Alright, let's hit end turn. Quebec is gathering their strength. Spain's probably going to pick up a colonial army from somewhere and land and attack me. Or they're going to blockade our ports. Yeah, blockade our trade. Yeah, that's fair enough. But I think we're still okay. I do need to start recruiting some ships, though. Might be on 4,000. There we go. The Dutch have freed up the, one of the trade lanes to the British Isles. Cherokee is still mobile. I don't like how they're mobile towards my territory. Austria's running around Paris. They haven't taken it, but they're around. Martinique has become a rebel-held territory. That's interesting. It's not because it's a French-held territory. It's not, it's not because it's a French-held territory and the French have been defeated, because the French still exist. So that is a bit weird. They are They rebelled, but strange things can happen. Oh no, don't start doing this, Ottoman Empire. That'll be the worst. Start chugging down the campaign. Well, just to make sure this doesn't go out of hand, I'm going to chop the episode here and bring you guys back in a second. So, see you... Oh. See, that, that always happens. Yeah. <laughs> it heard me. It realised it wasn't going to get airtime if it didn't hurry up. Oh, you're going to get smacked. No, nope, you're not going to get smacked. Venice is on the move. Just blockading the Barbary States. 2,900. Yeah, should... A bunch of six. They're six. So six and a brig. I mean, if it wasn't such a pansy, just sail those guys out and take them out. Let's get two fifths on the go. And for me, for now, four thousand two hundred next turn. When it comes to Cherokee, you're not going to get a taste of this. Just gonna chew them up. Men, make they shouldn't power. interfere with us attacking them. Nothing of theirs they want. I mean, I suppose we could use this agent actually, because I've got him. Let's build, yeah, let's build up our navy a little bit. 
One more turn to classical economics. It's interesting that Quebec are building forces in Maine and then running them around to the capital rather than just recruiting them at Quebec. Ah, another attack. Another uh, raiding fleet. But we're being attacked at St. Augustine. So we are going to valiantly defend our position outside the gates. Now the irony is... Actually, if that's all our ports blockaded, we might not actually be able to recruit ships to sail and attack Cuba. But if we take Florida, we gain access to a port and we can recruit ships to sail down and land in Cuba. Uh, do I want to sit out here with the advantage of firepower? Yes, I do. going to be beautiful. Grenadiers in the centre. Perfect. Skirmishes. Mm, I suppose I've got to put a bit. No. Skirmishes in town buildings seem like a great idea. But what they end up being is magnets for the enemy to rush troops in. And if they do that, they'll kill my long riflemen. They are still safer. They're still safer, um, actually, out in the open fields. I mean, you attacked me, so... Yeah, I was going to say... Don't suddenly think I'm going to suddenly attack you, because that ain't going to happen. I mean, it could happen. But I've got the advantage of a defensive position now, so why would I? They're probably going to unlimber fairly soon. Oh, killed a gun. That's excellent, because they were... The gun teams are still mobile. You know what? did you get? Good God! The second regiment of artillery is snipers. They destroyed one gun team. And then they took out one gun with the next volley. I want to see if they get the third gun. Oh, nearly. Let's keep time ticking on pretty rapid. Otherwise, <laughs> it's going to take forever for them to get over here. Some, some of their own frontiersmen. Oh, that, yeah, that's right. Limber up. Don't want to be vulnerable to artillery fire, do you? All shells in. Oh, big whiff. Big whiff. Well, Sotari's gate is doing some good damage to the frontiersmen. Ah, native Bowman Auxiliary. Ah, there's some more. But they've advanced right into our line. That's you done. These ones are going to be the same. See, the enemy doesn't even have cavalry for me to worry about. I mean, well, they do have cavalry, but that's their general unit. I'm not just going to rush them into the middle of nowhere. They've recovered and come back. Oh, this 12 pound unit destroyed the enemy artillery. Force artillery. Go for the 12th regiment right in front of you. In range. Your cast shot flying through the ranks. Ooh, the grenadiers. 
Load and fire, skirmishers. Load and fire. Oh, his musket misfired. Try again. Hit the grenadiers with canister shot. Abandoned the idea of trying to push the right flank, so now we can push up and outflank the citizenry. Nope, they're already outflanked. Very well. Artillery, engage the colonial light cav. Oh, hit the wall, it might have bounced. Ah, they tried to. They were. They did try and out sneak us. Advance. Let's get Nathaniel Green up here. Although he's probably going to die. That's my luck. Okay, the grey days are broken. Colonial Light still active. See if he how quickly he dies. We charge him into the native bowmen. Round shot the bowmen here. Stop, sir. Get on the move. Shot the 12th, although well, they're going to break pretty soon. Line up between four and square. That's the captain. He sat right there. The need will hit him. Can they handle? They can hit everyone around him. He's defying people to hit him. He wants them to try. Say he was, he was blessed. Who's that? Colonial line coming in. Speed up time to get them out onto the field. Well, actually, they're engaging. They're being engaged from the front, so I'm going to run my line, my long rifle in here to fire into their flank. It's a real rank fire by rank formation there. Ooh, ceasefire, cast shots hitting them in the back. Go pound Oh, God! They advance into cover from my long riflemen, but it's cost them. The morale has collapsed. Nice. Excellent. Good, 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 good. I wonder, if, wonder how long they can stay garrisoned for. That might be it. Well, either way, we've effectively fought that in battle. Fate accompli. Well, we stayed. Are they going to try and free up their own? Nope, they're dead. What about you? 
You're gonna you're gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> So determined to try and blockade these ports. More orders. Oh. He are you. You. Ugh. That sucks. You can just go. No, no. This is my siege. I'm taking over, and it's all mine. Go away. What? You you can't just do that. Well, I'm sorry, Cherokee. You're next. I'm not going to let you get away with that. No way. And if that means I end up having to make peace with Spain, which they won't let me make peace. No. No alliance, Mughals. God, oh, that's... That's just... That's just not on. That's not on, Cherokee. You just signed your own death warrant. A lot earlier. A lot, lot, lot earlier than I was planning. I was gonna let you just kick around and everything be fine. But no. Oh. Florida. Who knew it was at such a high... It was so desirable. Ugh. Oh well. You will bring death to the Cherokee... Oh, pardon me, that's a bit of a hiccup. On swift wings. It's, it's weird that that the that you can do that. That you can just swoop in and go, yep, I'm sieging these guys. Is there anything you can do about it? No. Too late, just accept it. That's fine. Especially if they think I'm just going to let that happen. They are sadly mistaken. Tactical retreat, indeed. Yes, sir. Declare war. No allies. Go on, Mexico. See who you back. Italians ready. Siege, Siege them. Underway. Oh, no money at all. Major nations, Spain. Peace. There we go. We immediately peace out of Spain. There's all our money. Settlement. You men are the you devils. Yes. You're gonna go after this chap and just Huzzah! chonk Huzzah! up his his army, and you're gonna head towards Chicasa. You'll suffer for this. Uh, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode, and this could get a bit dodgy, because we're now at war with the Iroquois as well. So that's why making peace with Spain was so important, because we cannot afford to be poor. And it also means that I don't need my navy now. Instead, what I need are troops. Just troops, 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 troops and cash. It's unfortunate because these guys captured it and they dismantled everything. So you have to rebuild it up. But that's okay. Because you're going to push north and threaten Cherokee. Once we've secured it, we will then start to... We'll, we'll, we, we too will push north and west against the Native Americans. God, God damn it. Yeah, New York was blockaded, but not anymore. We've got national debt, which gives us better cash prospects. Let's get you on to new model bayonet drill for charge bonuses for bayonet equipped troops. I think we're going to need the melee combat buffs. Cool. Right now we're on ten and a half grand a turn. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the first episode. And I'll see you next time for even more Republican America fun. Cheers, everyone.